So I have a lot of people freaking out about these little guys here I had on my uh, on my proto board. They say, hey, what are those what are those little things there? Are those diodes for reverse protection? What are those things, right? And um, so this video is all about those funny little glass things, right? They're glass components. Look just like a diode, but they're not. <laughs> so previously, uh, I was using these yellow things. What are those yellow things? What are those yellow things? Um, so here's another proto board, and I have uh, those yellow things on there. What are those yellow things? Well, those yellow things are from this tape and reel here. Uh, yeah, I got, I got a lot of them. <laughs> I got a lot of them. <laughs> and what are they? They're they're uh, capacitors. They're uh, axial lead capacitors. Um, now, why would you have an axial lead capacitor? Well, it makes it easy for the pick-and-place robot. The pick-and-place robot that's used to grabbing through-hole resistors and bending the leads and putting them on boards and everything, well, this looks just like a resistor. It's the exact same size, exact same way that it's presented on the, on the, uh, on the reel here. And so, yeah, those, these are 0 0.01 microfarad capacitors. Uh, these are from the uh, AVX Corporation. Uh, made in Mexico, uh, 7,500 capacitors. There's the part number, it's a 103, so it's 0 0.01 microfarads. It's an SA105E103MAA. So yeah, uh, they are lots of capacitors. So they are my favorite capacitor. In fact, when I do a lot of stuff, I'll say, hey, I'm going to use my favorite capacitor. And it's, it's the point, the point zero one. But uh, I've upgraded my, uh, I've upgraded my protoboard. Okay, what are these? These are capacitors. Uh, lots and lots of them. <laughs> they aren't on a tape. They are in bulk packaging. And uh, they have been uh, uh, bent, so they're for through-hole insertion. They're already bent. And uh, yeah, uh, let's zoom down here and take a look at them. All right, they are also capacitors. And uh, they are 0.1 microfarad, much better. So I did a study on uh, multi-layer ceramic chip capacitors and found out that uh, the 0.01s and the 0.1s, the 0.1s are kind of acted better uh, over ranges of frequencies and stuff. And so I thought maybe I should use these guys. I got a lot of them too. I, normally I would just use that big tape and reel. But uh, yeah, I've got a bunch of these too. So I decided, well, I, I, my new proto boards, I'll just shove these in there because they're already bent and I don't have to trim them or anything. I'll just, I'll just use them instead. So here they are under the microscope. And you can see that they are a glass package and they just have a multi-layer ceramic chip capacitor inside of a glass package. Um, why would you do that? Well, to put leads on them, to make them axial, to make them so you can treat them as through-hole parts instead of surface mount parts. Uh, for these particular parts, I don't know which came first, the surface mount version or the leaded version, but <laughs> that's what they are. Uh, so uh, you can see here it says uh, 104, so yes indeed, these are 0.1 microfarads. Okay, so as far as I know, these are 50 volt compliant, so I can use them anywhere in the shop. I, normally I never go above 50 volts, so I'm just going to assume that they're good for anything I ever do. And uh, yeah, that's what they are. So next time you see a proto board with those guys on it, you will know what they are.